beautiful evening right here at ETA Awards and we have our beautiful dear Revelyn uh, Lucy Natasha. She's just been part of this and we're happy to meet her for, for personally for the second time. Yeah. I'm happy to meet you. Looking good. Thank you so much. It's a blessing to be here at ETA Awards. Yeah. I'm also the patron of ETA Awards where we recognize achievers and we, cele we celebrate excellence. People that are making you know, an impact in arts, entertainment, in community, in governance, in leadership, and in various aspects. So it's really a blessing to be here today. Just taking a day, you know in Kenya, the culture has been pull her down, pull him down. When somebody's trying to rise, when somebody's trying to do something great, we have the PhD culture, pull him down, pull her down. But at ETA Awards, we are here to say we are making it fashionable in our generation. Yeah. Instead of being hateful about each other, to be helpful, to support and to recognize. And this to all those that will be recognized today is just to tell them, you know, we see you. Continue doing more, continue being you and continue shining. So, and to all those that are here to celebrate all the recipients of those that are being awarded, thank you for celebrating excellence and greatness. Uh, we have so many awards here in Kenya. What would you say that ETA Awards has a unique thing that ETA Awards has? One of the unique things about ETA, it recognizes even those that are at Mashinani. We don't just recognize people that are celebrities or people that are just known. We recognize even the uncelebrated heroes. Those people that are in Mashinani that are making an impact. We go right on the ground to find out who are the people that are making an impact in different spheres of life. So we are not just looking at those people that are uh, that are known. We are also looking at the at the at the at the heroes who are uncelebrated, people that are really going the extra mile, making a positive difference, because it takes one person a day to make a difference in our world and especially in our nation. So ETA is so special because look at today, last time when we, were, when we met, we were in Nairobi Cinema, but today we are in Machakos. That tells you that we have a vision of going county to county, and not just county to county, we want to go to East Africa and the rest of Africa, yes. Being the patron of ETA Awards, why did you decide to become the patron of these awards mm -hmm. and not any other awards? Because as she said, we have so many awards in Kenya which uh, offer uh, those upcoming artists too. Why, did, why choose ETA Awards? What is special about ETA Awards? Okay, the one thing that is very special about ETA Awards is that it is also focused on young people. And being a pastor, I'm also a pastor that is more focused on young people because I feel like our generation is our responsibility. And uh, the ones that went ahead of us, they have already set the base, they have already done it. But ETA Awards is more centered on uh, the, the upcoming generation, the generation of millennials, the generation of Gen Z, you know, just the upcoming generation. So I feel ETA Awards is more special because it is also centered on the upcoming generation and also not on the people who have already made it. You know, some, some other awards recognize only those that have been celebrated over and over. But as we go the extra mile of finding the talent, you know, and encouraging the talent, encouraging the greatness, encouraging the skill, encouraging the gifting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seeing that ETA Awards is all about the upcoming artists, what do you do to after the awards now? What else? What is next for them? Because yeah. they might win the award and then they are comfortable with, the, with what they have. What do you do to keep them pushing and make sure that in the next upcoming awards they have, they participate in them? All right. Actually, at ETA Awards, we also have a follow-up program where we also connect uh, like-minded people with opportunities. So it's not just a way of just uh, acknowledging them and celebrating them. We also have deliberate, you know, deliberate steps that we do and we take to ensure that we can also connect them to what will help them grow, to give them also the opportunity and the platform of exposure. So there are certain programs that we are still working on and we hope that even in this now, this year, we will be able to do it bigger and better. Connecting them with bigger and better opportunities and like-minded people because teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Every time when you go uh, somewhere, you have a support from your mom. How yeah. does that make you feel? Uh -huh. 
you know, my mom is uh, so amazing because uh, I am a product of her faith. And, uh, you know, just like I'm a pastor, she's also a pastor. So it's always a blessing to have your mom around, especially when your mom is your greatest support system. So she's here today. She'll also be greeting you shortly. And uh, we thank God. And also she's a digital mom. She's 62 years yeah, with uh, already uh, three grand two grandchildren. My brother, also the grandchild is coming. And of course, mine will be coming soon. Maybe two or also three. So yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah. Let me ask this as we talk about awards. If we had a pastor's award, what award would you take home? Uh, my God. For me, I would like to be known for inspiring the next generation because my messages are centered on hope, faith, love, and inspiration. So I would just want, you know, we don't serve because of awards, but uh, if there was something like that, I think uh, just to be known for inspiration, because I came from the slums of Madare, and I am a living testimony that God can pick somebody from nowhere, because I grew up in the slums of Madare, and that is my story. But that did not stop me from becoming what I have become today. So probably an inspiration. I would like somebody out there to look at Natasha and say, if she came out of the slums of Madare, to become who she is today, an author, a pastor, you know, and many other things that we do, a businesswoman, I can also be able to do it. So inspiration, because inspiration is what I'm called for. I'm a prophet of hope. Yes. And maybe as we wind up, a message to all the nominees, everyone who is going to get the award, just a message to them. To everyone that has been nominated, congratulations. This is just a recognition to tell you we see you, do more, keep on pushing. We know success is not a destination, it's a journey. And already you are on that path. To those that are winning their awards, it's not time to rest. Success requires consistency. So you need to be consistent. Consistent is game. Yes. And also you came with your friend, uh, Foyina. Yes. Just a, a message to her because she's also supporting you. You've been supporting her as well. Yeah, of course I believe we slay and pray. And that is where I do my makeup. And, uh, you know, we have to look good. You know, you have to dress up every day. No matter how you feel, dress up, show up, look good. So my message is uh, let's keep doing what we are called to do. All of us cannot be pastors. Some of us are called to be in government, uh, in leadership. Others are called in the arts entertainment others are called in education so all of us cannot you are called in media so we have the seven mountains of influence so what i can say you know let's all do what we were called to do we are all unique with and we are anointed and called differently a word of encouragement to us yeah in the media please keep producing clean content and we really appreciate you just seeing young you know innovative minds people that are so determined we pray that god your star will shine brighter and thank you for producing clean content and not for crucifying us in the court of public opinion so we really appreciate even the opportunity to share this message through the media thank you so much